everybody, it's Angelo with Angelo's Workbench here with a new project. I am working on the Revell 64 Impala Lowrider. Uh, you can see the box right here, this is the box. And what I've decided to do is a couple of things. Um, I have never opened doors before, so I have the doors open, I have fabricated some hinges. There was um, a really good article in Scale Auto about hinging things. And this particular car already came with the trunk hinged, and the hood, of course. And so I figured, hey, if I can do the doors, then I have every opening on the vehicle functioning. So I have uh, created, cut the doors, and created a door panel. I have not closed off the edges yet. Um, I'll be doing that with Sheet Styrene shortly. But this is my first time opening doors. I've never done it before. So far, so good. The, um, they open, they close, the hinges function properly, so far. The only modification I had to make was to the interior pan. There was a portion that would be here. However, when the door would close, uh, it would prevent, it would hit the, um, it would hit the interior pan right here. So I had to, um, I hope the camera's getting all this. So I had to modify the interior pan. The only problem is that's where the dash mounted, so I'm going to have to come up with an alternative dash mount, but I will. There's the dashboard with the little the little low rider chain steering wheel. So in my slideshow presentation that you're going to see shortly, there are a few shots of my progress thus far. This is a nail polish paint job. And what I thought I would also do this time is I thought I would do a how-to on how I mix my nail polish. I'm using a Sinful Colors Copper Pot is the name of the color and Sinful Colors Copper Pot sprayed out pretty nice. Um, it has since been uh, covered with a lacquer clear and then I'm using um, Tamiya Titanium Gold as the alternate color, as the trim color for the roof. I thought about white but then I settled on the gold. I thought the bronze, oh that's nice, I thought the bronze and the gold kinda went well together. I also have uh, my friend Joff from England was using these little finger cuts online uh, he posted it on Facebook. Using these little finger cots, what they are is just like uh, latex gloves without the glove. It's just for the fingers alone. And so when you're handling glass or parts that you don't want to leave fingerprints all over, like the body, um, you can put these little finger cots on. And, uh, and, and they're not much. I think this was $6 on Amazon for... It says there's 10 gross in here. Uh, which I assume is maybe a hundred or so, not really sure. But there's a lot to cover your fingers, and you could probably use them more than once. And so those will enable me to cut down on having to polish and clean all of the fingerprints that I leave all over everything while I'm building. So, so here comes the slideshow and the tutorial on how I mix my um, nail polish paints. I'll have more coming on the 64 Impala when I put it all together and see if the doors open and close. So stay tuned to Angelo's Workbench for more. Thank you. One of the most important things I can't stress enough is the, the safety equipment. Using harsh chemicals, you need the gloves to protect your hands, you need the respirator to protect your lungs, and uh, this respirator is a remarkable improvement in my appearance. Doesn't that look great? So the nail polish itself is here in this picture, as is the inexpensive Duplicolor Lacquer Thinner. The, the cheaper the thinner, the better it works. Uh, and here is another shot of the Sinful Colors. I paid 99 cents for each of these bottles. The color names are wonderful, copper pot as it shows. So I take the nail polish and I empty it into a glass container and uh, all of it out. And don't worry about the little metal ball, it doesn't matter, you can get that out later. Um, I then fill the nail polish bottle with lacquer thinner and shake it all up to get all of the nail polish out of the bottle. So then what you're left with after you dump that in is basically a completely totally empty and clean nail polish bottle. and um, a 50-50 mix of nail polish and thinner. If it sprays out smooth and nice like it did here, then you're done. If not, if you get a little texture on a test, uh, and you should always spray a test, if you get a little texture, you can uh, add a little lacquer thinner to it, and that should smooth it out a little. Here's a shot of the trunk. The nail polish gives such beautiful metal flake um, appearance, especially in person. It's just beautiful. So then I did the roof in titanium gold. I liked the titanium gold and copper pot uh, the way they work together, I thought they were beautiful. 
And from here, we'll go to a shot of the underside of the chassis. The uh, It is completed. Lots of different colors here. The, the copper pot color I chose to use for the engine and the undercarriage for the most part, uh, along with some steel and black accents. The interior is, for the most part, done in white. It's a flat white and some bare metal foil chrome trim in various locations in the interior and on the door panels, as you see here. The firewall was just, uh, the radiator panel, excuse me, was hand-painted, those details. And here's another shot of the body. So hopefully I should have some progress on this uh, before Christmas. So thank you very much.